Well, 2021 is almost over, so it's time we take a look at the habitat management goals that we accomplished this year and give ourselves a final grade. We bought the property in February. We had the clearing company come remove our first food plot in March. At the tail end of April, going into May, we put lime down to prepare for our June food plot. Then in June, we planted our cover crop. By July, the sorghum was doing good, but we did not do very well. And in August, we were able to roll over our cover crop and plant our fall food plot. As you can see, the sorghum dried out a little too much and uh, took away a lot of our ground cover. But we still had sporadic growth that seemed to show us things could do well here. Here in September, our brassicas are beginning to flourish where they were able to establish. Then in October, we decided to plant rye uh, to cover all the bare areas and give us a, a green plot for the winter. And overall, I would give this plot a C. Okay, now let's talk about the six things we've learned in our food program this year. Um, number one, it's uh, soil tests were crucial for this plot. Had very acidic soil that we wouldn't have known otherwise. Um, the number two thing that we learned is that buckwheat cannot penetrate a hard, hard packed ground uh, to establish itself, and it also does not like sitting in scorching heat. Um, the third thing, uh, the sorghum that did establish looked good once it established and it grew well but once it was rolled over it dried out and shrunk and provided us almost no ground cover um, but the brass because it did find enough shade and water to grow uh, established well and this was indicative of the situation within the isolation cages that without the cages we would not have known because the rest of the brassicas were browsed down too much um, so overall, uh, in order to have a successful plot, we need higher yields, so we're going to have to generate more acreage uh, to keep the deer satisfied. 